Hello and welcome back to Ostruf. We're going to continue this just a bit longer. Our last episode was a was the live stream we did, uh, which was like a two hour thing. So if you missed that, let me uh, let me catch you up with what all took place during that uh, live stream. Honestly, this is Alpha One. I didn't assume. I, I kind of figured that that would be the game that uh, we would do that that first part, do the live stream. You know, two hours worth of gameplay. I thought for sure that would be. You know, uh, enough to cover all of Alpha 1, but we still have things to do here, so I figure we'll go ahead and continue this thing. I don't have time for another live stream, but uh, I do have time to record a couple more episodes here. Um, we, um, last time, if you missed that, that live stream, it was two hours, so it's understandable if you didn't watch the whole thing. Uh, we started out pretty terrible. Things basically fell apart. Cra the whole town crashed. Uh, we made it through that first winter. We, we got to the winter, um, and we didn't make any food. We didn't have any food around and people starved. Luckily, we were able to trade with one of our neighbors. We got a little bit of fish from them. We were down to something like, I think, 10 citizens at one point. Um, we, we barely made it through the winter, thanks to those 10 dried fish we managed to get into the town. Um, and uh, with those 10 folks, that was like 6 adults with those 10 people, by the way. Uh, we were able to get our fisher fishermen set up and out here running. We got, uh, we got old uh, Frank out here fishing at the moment, and that is what saved us. We managed to get to fish in here. Once we were able to get food, then people were able to move in, and once we got people in here, then we were able to expand. And that's kind of where we are right now, is we, we have a, a reasonable little town here. We've got a, a, a trading post over here that's, that's well, trading. We go, oh, look at that. we got someone sitting on the bench. Oh, someone sitting next to him. Who is this? This is Odarka, and this is Philip, or Pillip. They are not married, but maybe they will be. Hmm. There we go. Very nice. Yeah, we built that bench, and somebody's actually using it. That's cool. I uh, like someone's using our, our... This is our tree of uh, remembering the fallen. That's what this tree is uh, supposed to be. It's a pine tree for the dark times. And, uh... Oh, Maria is checking it out. <laughs> uh, anyways, back to our tour. Uh, so we have most of our houses over here. We have a double house over here somehow. I don't know how that happened, but we have two houses there. Uh, we also have a new housing addition going up on this the, the west side of the town over here. Uh, this is a cow field, which we will hopefully get to... I haven't decided whether we want to do the cows first or the clothing, which I think is going to be the goal, actually. Clothing first. Um, over on this side, we have built a carpenter over here. He's going to make us a uh, well things for our farms. And then our farm that saved the day. This one here, the potato farm. There's nothing in it right, to right now because it's September. We've just harvested the, harvested the thing. But it is the uh, the lifesaver. This is the, the blood of the community. That doesn't sound right. Potatoes. This is the food of the community. It is giant potato farm. Uh, once we were able to get enough fish to make it through that winter, that next year we put that thing in there and, and everyone went to work with the potatoes. So we had a whole Martian thing going on with uh, lots of folks surviving solely on potatoes. Uh, we also have a windmill in here that's that's uh, grinding up all the wheat that we are growing over here for some flour. And you can see our houses now are doing pretty good. Wealth is decent. Wealth is actually where we've been kind of struggling. We've been stable there, and that's about it. Uh, firewood's okay. Potatoes, they don't have very much potatoes for some reason. There's a ton of them over here, though. Um, and uh, water and a bit of fish. So everyone's looking pretty good. Uh, what we're doing right now is we're working on building a weaver's shop. Because what we're going to be doing is we're taking the hemp that we just grew from here. We're going to be growing it, I think we're growing it here next season. Yeah, hemp. Um, actually, you know what I wonder if I should do? I'm going to change this to one more season of potatoes. We have enough enough fertility for one more season of potatoes, and then we will go into the hemp business. Um, and then we can go fallow, and then hopefully the fallow puts it back up to 100%. If it doesn't, we'll have to do it again, but then we'll be back with our potatoes. We've got enough potatoes to last us. That'll give us another supply of potatoes. We'll be eating three-year-old potatoes here next next year. Uh, but once we get the hemp, we turn the hemp into cloth. Or not cloth. I guess it was, would it be cloth? Some sort of textile. And then that will go into the tailor shop to make us some clothes. And I'm hoping what that will do is it'll give us money. And we can sell that clothes off and hopefully well, make some cash and help our productivity, our, um, our, our wealth of the town. So, yeah, that's the main focus this time is to get this stuff done. I have installed the patch again. Um, I, I was worried that was a problem. We I, we have an issue with building bridges, so we won't be building any bridges. Um, but the patch is back in here. I hope something that will uh, maybe fix a few things. Uh, but the goal this time, uh, other than that, I've already mentioned the goal, but uh, um, one thing I do want to do 
But this, this is where we're at. What I want to do is we have a farm right here, and it's kind of in a terrible place. We got a farm. And there's a farm back. Over, there's a field here and a big field over here. I would like the farming community to sort of be off by itself. We have a granary that's coming in. What that does is it takes the food from the farms and hauls it into the granary, which then is will get hauled into the market if it's if it's needed. So because we have the granary, we could put a farm like way out here with all the fields all around it, and then you could just haul that way. It would work much better. And I think it would look a lot better too. So I think what I want to do is as soon as these things are built, we're going to start working on that. And we'll move this farm. We may just, we won't remove it yet, but we'll, we'll build new farms first. Remove the old farm. Uh, build some new stuff, I don't know, out this way or this way. We can't go over the water, sadly. But uh, I don't know, somewhere around here we're going to build a farming community. And then we'll have roads. We'll make their own roads coming in to the, bear, or to the granary. Which will uh, then be all set up. Actually, I'm going to cancel this. While I'm thinking about it. Because I want to move my granary and have it right here. This is just in the middle of town. It's just in the way and not okay. We need maybe a decoration. Maybe a bench right there. That would work. Or a big arch. This is where all the uh, the visitors come. I wish it was taller. Like all the uh, the wagons come walking through here. We should like build some arches so they, they when they come into town we know where they're coming from. Just to know where the uh, the entrance of town is. No, it'd be all right. Uh, this needs to be worked on. Where is everyone working right now? They're probably working on these houses over here. Yeah, everyone's constructing houses at the moment, um, which is probably a nice thing. We need employment though. I'm going to cancel. I'm going to just pause these three. So that way, when they're done with this house, they will move on to the weavers uh, because we do have some hemp around. Uh, I think it's here in the market stall. Uh, no, where is the hemp? It's yeah, we got four things of hemp, so that should be enough to. Uh, start getting some clothing started. Looking for laborers. We should have plenty of laborers, though. Uh, what is this? Weaver. Yeah, those two and that house. We have 56 people in town now. We got 60. We got 32 of them are adults, and a lot of kids. There's no housing available at the moment because of of that. But as soon as we get housing, people come moving in. Uh, we can check our economy page here, and we lost three dollars last year, which ain't bad. Salary's a bit high. We've been messing with this a little bit, trying to get it under control. And the only thing I can think of is to is I've been lowering the wages and raising the rates. Um, salary is the big thing. If I not, I don't want to knock it down too much further. Though. I'm just worried that that's going to like freak people out and they're all going to leave. Uh, we have a um, family's out of there. We go. Family's out of money. That's no good. Marifa is now visiting. They want sunflower oil and sunflower fun. They've been wanting that for a while. I don't have that. Maybe we should grow that to supply them and make money. Maybe that should be our, our business, is to go into business just selling things. That would make sense, right? Export things out. That would certainly make us some cash. Oh, look, they actually take it apart. When you tell them to deconstruct, they actually take the things out of the ground. That's... I didn't expect that. That's cool. So with a family out of money, I don't know what the solution to that is. Is it they need a, um, maybe they need a job? Maybe they need more money? I'm trying to see if everyone has a job. At least one person in every house seems to have a job. What about the double house over here? Yep, they're doing all right. Uh, what about over on this side? I only got the message once. Someone's out of food. What? There's a million potatoes around here. How are you out of food? Unemployed as a laborer. Laborer. Oh, there's a house with two people out of the job. How are we out of food? Store. There's a lot of potatoes here. How are we out of food? Are you not going to get potatoes? Is this the problem? Do I need to maybe make some carts? Perhaps we need to make a second cart place, which is... I thought I could make it. Maybe I can't. Cart parking. Um, I'm going to set it right here. Right like that. Order carts. Order carts. Order carts. Can we order one more here? No. Family is out of money. Well, maybe we need to change our rates here. Let's raise the wage up a bit. We'll do that. We'll raise the we'll raise the pay and we will raise the rent. We'll do both. I'm not sure if that'll do us any good, but we'll, we'll try that out. We may be broke a little bit, but we're not like in terrible shape. We, we were for a while we were sitting around a thousand. We're down to nearly five hundred. Um, 
Winter has hit, but food shouldn't be an issue anymore. Um, you are ordering carts, but there is a carpenter who is doing that. We could give more jobs out. We could, like, put more people in here. But that's going to end up costing more money, though. Um, we have folks working at all these places. Are these finally getting built? There we go. There we go. So the weaver's finally getting built. That'll give us a couple more jobs as well. Um, you have three kids? Man, calm down over there. There is 61 people now in town. I wish I got a... Uh, I wish I had like some sort of report at the end of the year, sort of just a, a rundown of what all happened for the year, you know? Um, wealth is... I would imagine that being in the green is going to be the best, right? That's sort of the uh, the middle class area there. No housing available. We've got... Own plumbing is... Apparently we don't hire women in this town. Hmm... I'm gonna start. I, mean, I think. I guess that's okay. I I don't really know how to read it real well. And we are actually making money this year. Huh? Maybe we did something right. Family's out of money. Women may not. We'll try to get more jobs in here, and that'll help people out. I suppose what we could do real quick is we could just put more put more more workers in. Like you were higher over there. Uh, I don't need another forester. Um, I will take another farmer though. That seems like. A good job. Farmers in the winter, you know. Um, we'll throw in another trader, which we don't really need. And we'll put... I don't need that either. Uh, I don't need that either. Um, I'll hire another fisher. You are hiring. Nobody wants to be a fisherman? Okay, whatever. I don't have cows just yet. The, the problem with cows is they take... There's a lot of process with the cows. Cows have to have hay. And they also have to behave... Um, I don't remember what all it was. There's a lot of things with cows. Okay, so I'm going to hire you, Palana, and I want you to come in here, and you're going to take uh, hemp. Oh, I almost said wheat. You're going to take hemp, and you're going to make textiles out of it, and then we will take those textiles over here to the tailor, who will make clothing. And I don't remember anyone actually trying to buy clothing, but we'll find out. If we can export, if we can export hemp. Do two of them. Anything else we have to export here? Uh, we don't, I don't want to do all my fish. We do have lots of potatoes, so let's let's crank the potatoes up a bit. Family's out of money. Stop being out of money, then. These are all the things that we that we have. We could we could lose the dried fish because we don't have any of that, and change it over to clothes as soon as we get there. Family's out of money. I don't know what to do about that. I can give you more money. There you go. Three dollars, uh, whatever. Three dollars per whatever. You get it. There you go. Have money. Go spend it on my stuff. Okay, so you are... I don't know if you're actually working in here. Who are you? It says you are working. You you are here, working. So does that mean that you are giving me textiles? I don't. I don't know. We got one cart in here. We have oh, all three of them are there. They're just they're just most of them are being used. Okay, I'll go ahead and order the other one. That's fine. Um, we're getting family out of money again. Maybe our rent's too high. Our money is still hovering at a reasonable rate, though. We're not really losing. We're not gaining. It's actually doing fine. Uh, this one is nearly done. Once that's done, I will turn the other houses on. We can bring some more people in here. More poor folks can come move into town. Uh, as soon as the spring hits, we will have more food coming in. And food will never be... Able, you know what we could pro... Oh, you know what we probably need to do? is another market stall. That's what we need. Makes sense. Uh, we need a market stall. Where is it? Is it in trading? Over here by the houses. I'm going to throw it down... Like, let's just throw it in the middle of town. Uh, the middle of the houses here. Like right... Here. So there's like a main street here. We'll just have a market stall like right in the middle. There we go. They can walk around that still, but that way they can they can all... Everyone that lives over here doesn't have to walk all the way into town to get food. They can grab it all from right here. And uh, other folks can carry the stuff from... W carts from the granary or whatever into there. That should work fine. Uh, this is still not being constructed, but it is ready to go. We got someone in there. We got old... Kyrylo... I can't say names here. Why can't they be called Frank? Frank, Jim, I'm just going to call you guys whatever you... Whatever your first letter is, that's what you are. 
V or Victor and um, Yuri. There we go. Done. Let's hire somebody in here. We're going to hire um, Van to come in here and work on some clothing. I, I don't have an option of what kind of clothing I can make, which I'm kind of bummed about. I was hoping I could do that. I want you to, uh, I want you to really go at it. I'm going to hire a couple people here. We're going to have Mary and Van. I'm going to be working here in the in the clothes shop. Olga over there here. This one. Um, so folks should be there. You go. He's in there making clothes. Hopefully, my storeroom is. I guess I can add that in here. Oh, clothing was one of the ones I had before. Hmm. In here, I have clothes in here. So clothes will eventually get made and then hauled into the market stall. Uh, this other market stall will have to get the same thing. We have to set up what gets sold here. Like we want to make sure that there is fish here, always fish. Uh, we also will have some flour. We have plenty of that. Uh, potatoes certainly and. I guess close again. So yeah, we'll fill that thing up, and then people can come in here and get food, hopefully. I'm not sure who's out of food. I wish it would tell me. But hopefully that will solve that problem. I'm not sure why this isn't working either. I guess because it's... Maybe we are out of wheat. That could be. All right, we grew... Um, I'm going to switch you over. Because it's fallow right now. This one, I want you to be wheat again. So the the um, the fertility should be up after this fallow season. We got all the people working on this thing. Now he's out of money. All right, time to go look, plant some potatoes over here. There we go. Very nice. Out of money. Out of money. Out of money. I have lots of money. I'm gonna give you some. I'm gonna. Uh, I, mm. I could lower the rent. I'll pay you more. Lower the rent one notch. But you don't get any more than that. You terrible, terrible people. Just, like, live and be happy. Where's my map? Um, I could send a messenger over here. It's 30. Let's go Let's go do it. 30 bucks. We'll send someone over here to come talk to Baklava. And we'll see if we can figure out what we're going to sell these people. And whatever they want, we will go hard at it trying to make it. One of them does sell cows, and whoever sells cows, we're going to buy them and put them in this field. Uh, before we do that, though, we need to make sure that we are making a hair dryer to produce hay from nearby grass. This is going to go It's going to go where our new farmland is going to be, which is going to be over here. It's going to be like way out here. So we're just going to set it like that. Somebody has arrived in here. You offer flour, cows, and iron. You demand potatoes. Well, have I got a deal for you? Um, I'm going to give you 20... Do I have, how many potatoes do I have? I'm going to give you 20 potatoes. Hope I have enough. I'm ready to plant a whole bunch more. That's fine. I want some cows. Um, I will take two oxen. I need those for my fields. It helps me plant things. I want... I want. How about cows? Two bulls. I will take four bulls and four oxen. Okay. Mm, those are expensive. Three and three. That's expensive. Two sixty. I'm only making one hundred and sixty bucks from the potatoes. Wait, why is? This? Oh, I'm getting twenty. I get it. I'm getting twenty cows plus oxen or bulls. I'm gonna hold off on that uh, until we have food for the cows. Otherwise, they're all just gonna die. Um, okay, so that is done. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure these houses are gonna turn back on. I'll turn them on slowly. Uh, I'm going to move our farm over here. It is spring now. Let's throw out a farm right over here. Um, here. And then from this farm, we'll put fields. We'll put three fields in over here. And we're also going to move our cow thing, I think, as well. I'm going to go ahead and demolish this. We'll throw it over here next to all the other stuff, too. And we'll get rid of this, this field also. Oh, I got another crash. Ah, oh, dang it. Luckily, the game auto-saves. So, it's not terrible. I've been getting some crashes from this. Um, this is actually the first time I've had a crash that we didn't have something to do with the bridge. I mean, it is awful one, so it's understandable there's going to be some crashes over here. Uh, where's my re... Is, is it this one? Yeah, this is just a minute ago. 
So yeah, okay, so right before we started placing the, the farm down. Let's try the farm again. We're gonna put it over here, like that. And we're going to remove, let me make sure that's not the problem. Make sure the farm being placed over here isn't the issue. Once I get started getting instructed, then we'll start, we'll remove the cow shed. Uh, we will continue that one. Okay. How is our supply of things? We have 16 potatoes in here still, so we shouldn't sell all 20 of those potatoes, should we? Well, I think it's probably okay. We've got a giant field of potatoes that's about to get planted over here. We'll be fine. Actually, they are already growing. So yeah, we're fine. Plus one more season, we should certainly be selling those things. Um... I already have set up the, the, the hauling of the potatoes that's already going on. I'm not sure that we'll get the hay set up just yet. It's going to take them a long time to get over there. Not a mowing season. This may be a little bit more of a process. So yeah, so we'll need the hay. Take the nearby grass, turn it into hay. And then we'll have to get... It says it in here. Once my cows are there, it'll be assigned to a cow shed with more space. Make sure the cow shed is staffed and has stock of hay and water before the cattle trader arrives. Right, we already have water in this one that we did a while ago. They'll graze on pasture in the summer. And then I add pasture button, add one. And they they can also pasture on a file of a field farm if you do. Oh, nice. Uh, for breeding, you need one bull per cow shed. You can also turn bulls into oxen for use as draft animals, which we'd use in our farms. All I could listen to the cow. Okay. Okay. You can also build a slaughterhouse to produce beef and hides. Slaughterhouses will work to turn them into, um, start with the oldest, and that will give us meat and leather. We can also create a tanner, which will turn the leather into shoot. I think it's maybe a shoemaker. Turns it into shoot. Oh, actually, I think the tanner turns it into the leather, and then the shoemaker turns it into shoes. 0.25 hay. Each animal consumes 0.25 hay and water per month. That's, that seems like each animal. That's, that's a lot. Build hay dryers for hay provisions and hair barracks for storage. So we may need a couple of these, actually. I'm going to go ahead and do another one. Um, well, let's just throw one in. I guess we throw, well, we'll throw them over here. This is, this is farmland, right? So this will be hay land will be over here. Like that. And then we'll also need a, a hay storage. A hay barrack, which we'll squeeze in. I'll oh, too I can't get in the middle here. Um, just like setting right here. There you go. So when you get hay, you throw it in there. Family's out of food. Unacceptable. Why are you out of food? This has food. This has food. There's no more wheat in there. It's only fish. And let me have hire another boat here. Order another boat. Get someone in there to come work. Why is nobody working in here? Give me some, some dang fishermen. I have plenty of people. I have plenty of unemployed people. Get in there and work on the dang river. Uh, clothing should be happening. And I don't know what that does. We still have some hemp. This will tell me... I still have hemp. So I don't know if that's working. The wealth distribution has certainly changed, hasn't it? I'm paying them more. I suppose what we could do is we could just like cut the rent back down. Point three. We've lost some money this year, but we spent 30 on messengers. Um, we made some money on export. That's something. 66 people live here. I'm going to have to send another person out here, won't I? Yeah, because I spent too long on that. Okay, that's going all right. Family's out of money. Well, I cut the rent. We have to like live in some sort of like. Ooh, look at that! We got hay. Nice. And the uh, the farm's being built. We're gonna add on some fields next to it. We'll probably have to use the fields next season. They won't be there in time. It's already May, so that's gonna be too late for that. We've just dropped under four hundred dollars. So we've got to figure out some exports. Can I just sell boats? Uh, I know one of the things that you can make. I know one of the things you can make. It says in the uh, in the tooltip that you can make trade boats. I want to make that. We do actually have somebody working here. Ooh, someone's here. Oh, you again. I don't want you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I do want you. I do want you. I'm going to buy some of your wheat. 
I will buy... You're expensive. I'll buy four of your wheat. Okay, so come in here and uh, take my wheat, which we can then make some flour, which will give us a little bit more food. Maybe you'll start whining. They can have some bread along with their potatoes and their fish, and they'll be fine. Where's that guy going? Um, okay. This needs to get done, and we'll go ahead and turn these houses back on. So yeah, we've got a nice little community going on over here. Along with the fence. What else do we need? Is there anything over here that we need? Like, maybe a well on this side of town for all these folks? We'll build more houses in here eventually. But, like, a well down here at the edge. I suppose a well. So, if we, if we keep on going this way, we'll need a well somewhere down closer on this side. That way it's a little more centralized. Let's throw it... Like, right here. Have sort of a sort of a central area here. And then maybe our market should be over here. Whatever. And then we can build a road over here and put more houses down this way whenever we grow bigger. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, no potatoes there. And the problem is... Or no, I mean, no uh, wheat. No flour there. Because there is no flour. I wonder if... Oh, look. Someone's sitting on the bench. It's cool if they use the benches. I can put some more out. Hey, go have another one. They get tired walking along the road here. They can have another seat. You can sit over here next to your... This place. Market. There you go. Family's out of money, out of money. Oh, it does tell me this one. Look at this. The wealth of this... These are 51. These guys are rich. They own a market stall and a farm. This one, carpenter and nothing, and they're broke. I can't adjust the individual business prices, pay, uh, wages. I can just give give more jobs. And I guess we can do that. I don't know if the tailor is doing anything. I just can't afford this. Um, I certainly don't need another carpenter. I'll take another farm person. That seems like it'd be useful. Uh, we'll eventually move them all over to this side. Looking for builders. Yeah, get over there and build things. There's some work for you. Money is dropping fast this time. We lost 100 bucks this time. We just can't afford this. Yeah, we can't afford this. I gotta go back up. Too much of a hit. Imported 10 because of the wheat. There's the windmill going again. So we'll turn some flour out. We need some sort of a cash crop or something. Now we know that we know we can sell potatoes here. So I guess we continue with the big potato fields and then just keep selling those things. They don't make a lot of money, but they do make some money. Anyway, I think this is a good place to call it a day. We'll put some farm in here next time, get our fields set up, and we'll be in good shape. Uh, we did get our clothing done this time, so next time we'll be focusing on cows and getting, um, hopefully getting people dealt with money. Money's a big problem. But once we get some cows in here, we can produce shoes, and we can produce, let me see what else it is. Uh, meat and hides. Tannery turns the hides into leather. Shoemaker turns the leather into shoes. And then we will have nearly everything. This one produces oil from sunflower seeds. That's one thing we haven't done yet, is make sunflower seeds to make oil. Which, maybe we should do that, because we have someone that wants to buy it. So that probably is a good idea, actually. We know we have a, a buyer for it. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.